Now I know it's hard to believe that the government could be hijacked by diabolical, satanic, narcissistic lunatics and they are depopulating the planet or whatever the end game is but they are without a doubt manipulating the skies the atmosphere the clouds the weather weather modification weather manipulation whatever you want to call it but this is completely abnormal I mean, you just have to look up in the sky and realize this. These are not normal clouds. These clouds are synthetic and they have a purpose. Whatever that purpose is, is we are still unclear, but it can't be for the benefit of human beings. So I know you, you have doubts on some type of nefarious agenda by our governments. And I say governments, plural, because they're all manipulating the weather. This isn't just the United States. This is all over the world. So anybody can go outside and look up in their sky and they can realize the devastation we're dealing with. I mean, look at this mess. It's absurd. It's like an explosion went off in the sky of chemicals. So, believe me, I used to think, yeah, there's some corruption in the government, but not for one second did I think the things that I think at this point, the level of Deception and corruption is just well beyond anything I could ever imagine. And all you have to do is just a little bit of research. You know, since when has there ever been some kind of secret government program that has been beneficial to the population? I mean, the masses have been manipulated since the beginning of time, since... Uh, you know, Roman times, since, you know, uh, back in Greece, you know, this isn't anything new. We are not part of this club, but we pay for it, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. You know, one of the worst parts about us being uh, exterminated, sprayed, um, genetically modified, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm not only talking about the, the chemicals they're spraying in the sky, but uh, I lost my train of thought, but we need to wake up people. I think that it's, uh, it's every human's duty to do whatever they possibly can to make people aware of these crimes against humanity. I mean, they, they take our money, that's what I was saying. They take our tax dollars and poison us with it. It's great, we're paying for this. When is it gonna be enough? When there's checkpoints? at uh, intersections when they're kicking our doors down and relinquishing us of our, of exercising our second amendment, our God-given rights? Are we gonna lose free speech? Will we not be able to upload videos to the internet because of these bullshit bills that they're passing? where they all of a sudden have uh, a supposed, uh, you know, brown bomber, you know, over the past 
10, 20 years, there's been this predictive programming that the brown man from the Middle East is bad and is a terrorist. It's absolutely ridiculous. These people just want to live in peace, just like us. People, let's just wake up. I mean, if you have to, you know, take somebody's phone or laptop and, you know, just write in chemtrails. Send somebody a message. Call somebody and, and see if you can, you know, explain a little to them. Uh, put out flyers. Do whatever you can. Get your phone out and look up in your skies and make your own videos. We are all one. We are fighting against the one percent of the one percenters and they look at all of us as dirty disgusting wretched slaves they don't see color we need to unify as one and fight this nefarious diabolical cabal that reigns over us i love everybody i love humanity Let's fight together.